guys, it's Elisa here, or the Diamond Stitcher, as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Hello, good morning, or good afternoon, whatever time it is you are watching this video. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you're new to my channel, first off, welcome. I'm so happy you stumbled across my channel, and I hope you would consider subscribing and sticking around for all things diamond painting. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your continued support. I have an unboxing today, and this is an unboxing from one of our Fall DP Along 2023 event sponsors. So those that don't know, I am currently hosting a Fall Diamond Painting event. Well, Fall slash Halloween. It started September 1st, and it's going to go to October 31st. It's not too late to join. Just head over to my Facebook group, Licensed DP Fans Canada, and uh, take a look at the featured section. That's where all the important posts go. Uh, no new start required, no finish required. It's just weekly progress and weekly prizes. So um, I reached out to the small shop, Les Creations Day Clothes. They are an event sponsor. And I had asked if she had any Halloween kits in stock. If you did not know, uh, Les Creations Day Clothes is in Quebec. They started off with 3D printing, diamond painting accessories like trays, pen stands, uh, drill grinders, any 3D printing accessory that you can think of. And they also, well, Chloe does, uh, a hand-turned diamond painting pens and drops rather weekly, I believe. Uh, some amazing pens as well. And more recently, they started offering licensed diamond paintings. Right now, all of their artists are based in Quebec, which is a very uh, neat feature of their shop. And if you did not know, <laughs> the point I was trying to get to was that they actually have a storefront that you can go and visit. And in their store, they have diamond paintings all over the walls and they have accessories and everything. So you can check out their website, which I'll have linked in the description box below. But if you are in Quebec in their area, you can go take a look at their storefront as well as a, a neat experience. Uh, I wish I lived close enough to go check them out. But anyway, uh, she did have some Halloween kits in her shop. So I chose this one. I did purchase this one from her because I wanted a cute Halloween image to show you guys. Yeah, so let's get into it. So this diamond painting actually came in a very large brown box that was uh, in perfect condition, no dents, no scratches, nothing. The diamond painting, as you can see, comes in this plastic sleeve. So let's go through what to expect with their diamond painting kit. So you get this paper sheet. Now, not to worry, there's actually a sticker sheet in here too, or there should be. Uh, they recently added that as an upgrade a little while ago now, but they still include this, which is nice if you like to know all the stats. So we have our serial numbers listed here. There are 43 colors in this kit. We've got our symbols. We've got the DMC color. We've got the original quantity. So that would mean how, how many exact diamonds in this color are needed. And the actual quantity is how many they've sent you. So it looks like they do send, wow, you can see here, there's only eight in the canvas and they sent 200. So they can send a lot of... Uh, extra diamonds maybe 200 is the minimum I'm thinking so uh, so you do get extra in case there's any trashy drills or um, maybe you make a spill or something so there is they do account for that extra which is awesome also the weight of the bags and how many physical bags there will be here and here is this image isn't that adorable now I hope the canvas, yeah, the canvas does have the artist's name, so I'll go over that when we look at the canvas. But this is the picture that I often use in my paper logbook. We'll see if the sticker sheet has a big image as well, but if not, what I would do is I would just run this through a Zyron sticker maker, make it a sticker, or you could even just use scotch tape and put it in your paper logbook. But I like having the original image just to kind of revert back to sometimes and uh, compare the diamond painting finish to its original artwork. So as you can see, the diamond painting is rolled uh, with the symbols facing outwards. Their canvas is nice and soft. It has that kind of soft velvety backing. You can see on the um, edges here that there are poked and scalloped edges, so that helps prevent any fraying. Now, you can see that it just wants to stay rolled up. So there's a trick for this. Because they use poured glue, you can actually roll this backwards on itself. And what it's going to do is it's just going to help it lie flat a little bit faster. That way we can actually see the image. So let me just do this. I love this size. It's a perfect size. There we go. And of course, we're not going to be able to get the whole image in frame, but I'm going to... Am I in... Where's the top? There's the top. So let's look at the top. They have their catchphrase up there. Again, they are a French-based company. I can see on the uh, white of the canvas, the border here, there's a nice sparkle coating on it. 
They've got the size over here and this, this number, letter number thing up here is probably like the serial code for the kit. They have a little thumbnail in the top corner here and then they have their schematic, which is really easy to read. Nothing is cut off. The symbols look very uh, printed very nicely. They also have a schematic down here, again, with another thumbnail and then um, all their colors listed here. At the bottom of their schematic, you can see that this is where the ABs go. So in this kit, we're gonna have three ABs and I think the rest are all a normal DMC. On the bottom here, we have the artist's name, which is always super important. They, they do license their artwork from uh, Quebec artists. And I love that they put the artist's name on the canvas. I think that's really important. They also have their Facebook link. Oh, awesome. This is the Facebook link actually for the artist. And this WordPress, it looks like it's a blog as well. They have their shop name here. So Lake Creation State Clove. And then here is uh, their uh, specific information. So the Facebook group for Les Creation Stay Clo. I highly recommend you join that. It is bilingual group. There's lots of posting in French, but Facebook does a good job at translating. And there's also many bilingual French Canadians that can help out as well. Uh, that's where you get sneak peeks or announcements for their shop. They also have an Instagram. And then of course their website is where you can make online purchases. And they do ship worldwide, which is pretty awesome. I did confirm that uh, the other week. Let's just take a little bit of a scan. Let me zoom in a little bit. Just so we can see kind of the image in its entirety. It's a cute little tabby cat with a little hat, witch's hat. I think it's absolutely adorable. We've got some bats up in the corner as well. And on this side, and he's sitting in like a little bucket and we've got our little pumpkins down here, which I think look awesome. Very, very cute. There is this plastic cover. It is, it's not the super thin plastic. I would say it's kind of in between the very thick plastic you might find on some kits and the very thin on others. It's kind of in the middle. Their glue is super, super sticky. Let's take a look at their uh, printing quality, the, the clarity of the symbols, as you can see. Everything looks nice and clear. I'm not seeing anything blurry. Everything looks great. And then the glue on the outside, I always check. You might see a lot of people put washi tape around the borders of their canvases. That's not just for decoration, but it also helps if there's any overhanging of glue. And I can say on this canvas, there's not much at all. It's only a millimeter or two, which is awesome because that extra glue, what it tends to do is just collect um, dust and pet hair. I'm just trying, and I fail at this every time, to just make this plastic lay a little bit flatter. Because the diamond painting is rolled up in transport, you could see it's a little bit better. Um, like at the top here, all these little um, kind of bumps. That are, Those are just bumps in the plastic. It's not in the actual canvas. The canvas is sitting nicely. So it's not, they're not bumps or rivers or anything like that. All you have to do is pull that plastic back if you want it to lay a little bit more flat it really doesn't matter though and like i said usually i just make it worse so i tend to usually skip this step but i thought i would show you guys if you're worried about those little um bumps it's just in the plastic sleeve <laughs> that is awesome let me show you another area of the canvas up here we have our background in the hat here, symbols are easy to read as well. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything really going to trip me up. I would say this number eight, it's uh, black writing on a kind of a dark red background. That probably would be better in a white symbol, but um, I can still tell what it is uh, rather easily. Um, if you have some problem with your vision, that might trip you up a little bit, but otherwise everything else is printed perfectly. So let's take a look at what comes in this. This is their sticker sheet that I told you guys about. So this is relatively new upgrade, which is, is, is awesome because I love using these stickers to kit up. These stickers are quite big. So if you do use like the little round art dot containers, you might want to cut um, 
some of this out. All you really need is the symbol. Um, I actually do go by the serial number because I put my diamonds in order. It's just an easier and faster way for me to find the diamond I want because I kit up into baggies, so everything is kind of in a row, so it's easier for me. I don't use the DMC number at all, so what I would do is I would just cut down here and eliminate the DMC number, and I would just use the serial number and the symbol. They also have a lot of extras on the side here that you can keep, and there's some that have little sunflowers on it, which I think is adorable. And then here is that original artwork. So if you did want uh, to put this in your paper logbook, you can. You just got to cut it out. It is, this whole thing is a sticker paper. I don't think it's, no, it's not perforated. So you just got to cut it out there. And uh, again, if I did not say, I don't think I said, it's a 60 centimeter by 40 centimeter. It's going to be square diamonds. And I did say there are three ABs in this. That's just such a cute image, isn't it? They do have some Halloween designs uh, on their website, and um, I would imagine they're probably going to come out with some more if their artists have the artwork, because uh, we're only in September right now. Now, a thing to note about this shop, they sell their diamond paintings a bit differently than traditional shops. What they do, because they are a very small shop, is they open their website, the diamond painting section of their website, I should say, all of their other you know, their pens and their 3D accessories are available for purchase all the time, but their paintings become available to purchase on the first and the second of every month. So their next uh, selling of diamond painting canvases will be October 1st and 2nd. On those two days, you can place your order and then they will uh, take everybody's orders, send it off to their supplier and everything will get shipped to them at once. It really helps cut down on shipping costs for them and makes it more affordable for us in the end as well. So um, take a look at their website, favorite some of your favorite paintings, and then be ready to purchase on October 1st and 2nd. Now it doesn't have to be a race on those days because there is an unlimited quantity. They, they, they make them to order. So, you know, there's not just five of these or five of another one. It, as many people can order an image as they want. So you don't have to feel rushed or anything. It's just you have those two days to make sure you get your order in if you do want a kit. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to point that out. This is their little toolkit. So just a basic toolkit here. Again, as I said, they do sell 3D printed trays. I've used most models of their trays. They all work very well. Uh, they also have um, hand-turned pens that you can also purchase too. A uh, little few baggies here that you can use for leftover diamonds. We've got our basic white tray. We've got a pink pen and a squishy. This just, see if I can do it. No, this just wiggles on there. I've got nerve damage. That's the problem. We also get a little multi-placer here. This is probably a two or a three. And this one's probably a seven. And then these tweezers are plastic. So they're not metal. They're plastic. They're still sharp there. And then there's a, a big square of wax. This would be more than enough to complete this entire diamond painting. Let me just pop this in. Maybe. I'll put it to the side. I don't want you guys watching me struggle. Uh, let's take a look at their diamonds. So they do come in this nice package. Now, I think to note, this package is not labeled. So if you are somebody who likes separating their canvases from the drills, make sure that you label this before you do so. Um, you don't want to mix up your diamonds at all. I don't do that. I keep everything together. So for me, it's no big deal. Bear with the crinkle here and let's take a look at these diamonds. So I'm just going to take out these first. So it looks like they are, oops, this one's open a little bit. Sometimes that happens. Let me save these two diamonds. Better go back in the bag than on my floor, right? Uh, these are super sparkly. Now I do have some sun coming in from the window. Maybe that'll show the sparkle a little bit more. These are super sparkly. It's gonna be a lot easier to see a lighter color. What you can notice on these baggies is they have their serial number uh, on the baggie and only the serial number. So if you were gonna cut your symbols out, don't do it or make sure you do it very carefully where um, you don't separate them and then you can't, you don't know what number six DMC is or, or whatever, just make note of that. Sometimes stickers will come with all the information, sometimes just the serial number. Uh, I just use a serial number so it's perfect for me. These are super, super shiny, and I'm just taking a look 
to see if there's any trashy bits. I'm seeing very little, uh, almost virtually none. There's a little round diamond in there. I'm not seeing many tabs, which is awesome. Tabs on square diamonds are like the nemesis. Uh, they make placing square diamonds very hard, but these actually look really great. Let's see some more colors here. Lots of, um, I guess you could say neutral colors. They are packaged really nicely in here, all in order, which uh, makes it really easy to kit up. If you do kit up in something other than um, baggies, these are super shiny too. It's always hard to uh, show you guys exactly through the camera how nice diamonds are. These two, I'm not seeing any tabs. I'm seeing a couple of round stranglers or stragglers, but other than that, they look amazing quality. I have worked on one of their kits. It was uh, the Llama kit. Uh, I think it was round diamonds. Um, great quality. I had fun. The glue was super sticky. I had no problems at all. Um, the paintings do tend to be a little more confetti heavy. Uh, I just say that because some people uh, find those canvases difficult. Uh, there's nothing wrong with confetti. It can uh, look very nice and it usually makes things appear more detailed. Um, but just a note. Oh, I'm going to mess these up. So lots of neutral colors. And then we've got our yellows, which are going to be in those pumpkins as well. Here are the ABs. So what is number 41? Let me just look at our paper here. Number 41 is 550 AB. This is very pretty. It's actually, it's a purple. And the AB coating, well, you guys probably won't be able to, you know, see it entirely. It's super nice. It's painted on perfectly. I'm not seeing any scratches or imperfections on the tops of the diamonds. They look really, really nice. Maybe I could. Let me pour some out. Now, I'm not very good at um, using these small boat trays and these basic toolkits, but let's pour some of these out so you can see maybe a little bit better. I tend to pour too much in. I would definitely take a look. If you like 3D printed trays, I would take a look at their designs um, before you place your order and maybe pick up one to try. I absolutely love their 3D trays. I hope you guys can see there, like the coating on this is perfect. There's no scratches. That's something that you can see with a poor quality ABs is lots of scratches on the top and these I'm not seeing any. So these, these are really good and they're sitting nice together. Let me pour these back before I make a mess. Also bear with me, I am filming in the unusual area of the living room and the coffee table because I'm sitting in front of the AC unit. <laughs> I have a few videos to film today and I want to make it as easy as possible for my body. So here is the yellow AB. I, that is probably in the pumpkins. Now I could, let me actually push these to the side. It's going to be hard for me to see where these ABs are because, like I said, this is a confetti heavy painting. So um, I'm seeing little H's everywhere. So this purple AB, uh, the symbol is an H and I'm seeing them everywhere. They're throughout the hat, sprinkled in all up through here. They're through uh, the bucket as well. And then I'm even seeing them down here in some of the purple. So I think for this one, there's a good sprinkling throughout the entire canvas. Um, this one here is like a... Yeah, it's a yellow AB. This one is uh, AB742, and that's a number seven. So as I su uh, suspected uh, in the uh, yellow of the pumpkins here, it's all sprinkled in there. So it'll give it a nice little glimmer. We're also seeing some up here, I believe, are we? Yeah, there's a little bit up here, not too much actually, but there is a little bit. And then the last AB is this pink one here. It's a very, uh, like a baby pink. That's number 43, and that's 818 AB. Where would that be? Pink. I'm trying to look, like in the kitty nose. Not there. Where is the pink? Is it in the ears? I am seeing some of the pink in the kitty's paws, actually. Now it's standing out a little bit in its snout. 
a little bit around the eyes. Yeah, that's mostly where I think it is sprinkled there. I don't think there would be any up here. No. Well, that's a very cute image. Like I said, I have worked on canvases from them. Um, the quality is great. Their supplies are great. This is, I would consider, similar to premium canvases out there. Their glue is super sticky. Their plastic is a little bit thicker than uh, others that I've tried. And their diamonds are great quality as well. They do offer rounds and squares. And I believe they also have um, option between ac acrylic and resin drills. That just comes up to preference. Um, a lot of people prefer the resin drills. They tend to be a little bit more expensive um, than the acrylic. But um, yeah, it's just kind of a matter of preference. Now, with this kit, I think I'm going to do something special, and I want to give it away. I, I reached out to them uh, for this kit with the intention to give it away, and when I saw it, I was like, I can't give this I can't give this away. It's so, so cute, but I want to share the cuteness with all of you. So um, I'm going to give this away to some lucky person watching this video. There are some rules. The first rule is you have to be participating in my fall diamond painting event. Uh, again, it's not too late to join. You can uh, head over to the Facebook group to join. Uh, there is a Google form to fill out. I do. I will cross-reference that Google form to make sure the winner of this is um, signed up for the event. So that's the main rule. And then I need you to use a keyword in a sentence down below. Now, you can't just put this word, just the word, you know. Uh, you need to put it in the sentence. So think of something... Um, Creative, a creative sentence. Now I'm trying to decide between cat or pumpkin. Let's go with pumpkin since it is Halloween, uh, a Halloween event and a uh, um, or a fall and Halloween event. So let's go with the word pumpkin. So uh, think of a sentence and uh, make sure the word pumpkin is in it. And I'm going to leave this open, the comments open uh, for the draw for probably about 72 hours. That's usually what I do. And at that time, I will uh, announce a winner by a random comment picker. I can't wait to see who wins this again. Uh, to enter for this one, it, it, you're going to have to enter on the YouTube video itself. You can make an account. It is free. You don't need to have channel content to make an account. Uh, it, I think you actually can link your Google account to the YouTube. Um, but yeah, it's free to sign up. And I would love you, love to have you subscribe and join our little tribe. Again, to enter for this canvas, you must uh, put the word pumpkin in a sentence down below. Please, if you see somebody, uh, you know, commenting that you've won something, do not engage with it. I know this happened with a, a fellow creator who's also doing an event right now. If you win things in our events, we will contact you uh, the correct way. Uh, so if you do see some random person commenting or pretending to be be one of us uh, commenting you you won a prize please don't engage and let us know right away um those are often the trolls and scammers that we try to avoid uh, but yeah i can't wait to share this with a lucky winner so stay tuned for that i just wanted to add this clip here at the end as a reminder what prizes are coming for week four so uh, at the time this video goes live it will be friday morning september 29th friday morning is when our weekly progress post goes up in the facebook group licensed dp fans canada uh, that is where you're going to post your progress for week four that post will remain open until sunday midnight pacific standard time at that time i will close it and draw winners and create uh, another whip parade video uh, where i'll announce the prize winners but i like throwing this in on the Friday videos at the end, just as a reminder of what prizes we are looking looking at for the coming week. Uh, we have a bundle from Dream Wax Studio, one of these wax tins, and I believe she's pairing a cover minder with it. Below that, I'm be giving away another uh, mystery pack of crystals from Oraloa. Beside that, we have a prize pack I put together with a bunch of diamond painting accessories. Above that, we have another set of putty from Leas and Ciela DP. Putty, if you don't know, can be used in your uh, pen tips, either the single or multi-placer. Beside that, we have a pen from Craft Pack Canada. That's a clay pen. Um, if you like just basic diamond painting pens that come in the kits, but a little bit extra, then this pen is um, for you. Uh, below that, we have another $50 gift card to Diamond Art Club. Beside that, we have a lovely pen turned by Creations Dobell that she has given for 
our event and then above that is a $15 voucher to DP with sparklers so these are our prizes for week four again uh, don't forget to post your progress for this week before Sunday at midnight and then stay tuned for the following Wednesday when all the prize winners will be announced I hope everybody is having a or had a wonderful week and uh, have a relaxing weekend until the next video, happy diamond painting, and I'll see you all later. Bye.